Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here of the Top 5 Seed Series. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really excited to be back. I actually got sick, which is why I was pushing those shorts, just to give you guys a little bit of content without watching my other content. But, uh, I'm back and I'm ready to attack. Now, this video was recorded in Minecraft Java Edition 1.19.2, but the generation will work, but the structures will be different in Bedrock, so if you're loading into these seeds for the uh, generation, or for the structures, know that it, it may be different in bedrock but uh with that being said i'm pretty sure that's all i kind of have to tell you guys 1.19.2 uh the chunk base links are in the description too so if you guys want coordinates they're there anyway guys let's get into seed number one god it's good to be back Alrighty guys, coming in at seed number one, we have what I would call a rare spawn point. You're gonna spawn into a mesa biome. Now this mesa biome has a few features that we're gonna go over, but we're gonna go kind of chronological order. So if we follow the mesa biome just a little bit, you're actually gonna end up at a pillager outpost. Now, if you're looking for the new allays, you got them. It's literally the only thing that spawns with this pillager outpost, but that's all that matters is they're here, right? So we get one cage of the new allays, but say you're playing with your friends say your friends are looking to play with you and they want the new allays as well well what you're gonna do is actually travel in this direction where you're gonna find the second pillager outpost right so i'm calling this the buddy seed because it has two more allays so you and your friends now have allays and let's say you both need a little more loot so you're gonna head over in this direction over here where you're gonna find this village now this village is actually really unique and i think you can see why it has a double blacksmith in it look at that a double blacksmith directly beside each other so you and your friend don't have to fight who gets the blacksmith you're totally okay you can you can grab it he's good to go but if we head back to the spawn point there's actually another cool thing that uh, is I, i've never really found in a seed before and people might not like this or really care about it but i have it here check this out you have two cave spider spawners exposed to the surface you can walk right up to these and you have them here now cave spider spawners are kind of crappy to make spawners out of but having two of them right next to each other on the surface almost never happens so you almost have to take advantage of that and then the way this mine shaft is spawned it's just really cool is there another one in here no way no there's not i kind of got excited there that would have been really cool if it was a triple one but it's not it's only a double and the last feature i want to point out is actually behind this village route post where we have this wonderful mountain range now mesa mountains on their own are already pretty cool and then when you have these weird like peaks and you have valleys and you add in caves and you have little like uh go what are these groves up here it starts to look fantastic so see number one it's a long it's a long one but it's it's worth it i think you're gonna have fun with this now coming in at seed number two it's actually kind of cool i'll get my mic a little bit close i'm sorry it is actually kind of cool what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly up now you're gonna instantly find that you're in a village it's essentially connected to your spawn point and it's got a bee i love bees but you're gonna get a hay bales you're gonna get a blacksmith everything is pretty much set you're gonna you're gonna have fun with this one now what i want you to do is actually just kind of more or less follow the planes biome so we're gonna go this way where well death and destruction lies <laughs> we're gonna find ourselves a pillager outpost with the new allays so you don't actually have to go searching for them they're already here for their cute little goodness to be found i've never played with these before we have to we have to play with these in survival soon but the other that's it that that's the main features of the seed you're gonna get a village right off the bat and you're gonna get a pillager outpost right off the bat but i want you guys to acknowledge and i always get shocked when i do this in a video it's always confusing to me that this is something people want to see it's flat it is so flat if you're a beginner minecraft player if you're actually trying to get into this game it could actually be really difficult to get into minecraft with all the new caves cliffs everything like that so this is going to give you the opportunity this is going to give you the advantage point to be able to learn minecraft get some cool features right off the bat and then if you want to branch into that cool new terrain generation you can kind of like this right here i don't know why 
but I, I almost see a meteor hitting this for some reason, and it's like mid-explosion. I Am I weird for seeing that? The way it like blows out? I might be weird for seeing that, but I think it's cool. Now, coming in at seed number three, I think it actually has to be one of my favorite seeds in this entire video. Hey, you spawn into a mangrove biome where you're gonna be able to find one of the coolest mobs in Minecraft available. I truly believe this. You're gonna be able to find frogs. Now, I don't have them pinpoint right off the bat, but you're gonna be, there they are, <laughs> little buddy. One of the coolest mobs ever to exist in Minecraft, by far, by the easiest standpoint I've ever seen exist. Now, what we're gonna do is actually fly up, where you're gonna find a couple deserts. Now, we're gonna wanna go to the one that's surrounded by the mangrove biome. Now, if we go over here, you're already gonna find two seed features here. Am I moving weird? I feel like I'm stuttering when I'm moving. I think my GPU might be on the fritz. I'm not gonna lie. It's like six years old and I've rendered so many videos on this thing, you have no idea. But if we take a look at this, you're gonna have a quaint little village, right? Nothing too crazy, but you're gonna have a desert temple off to the distance here. So you're gonna get a little bit of loot from both. You're gonna have the new mangrove biome, but maybe that's not enough for you. Maybe you want a little bit more. We're gonna go to our second uh, desert temple. Now, what's really cool about this desert temple is you can't can you see it do you know where it is in this in this shot can you see it it's hiding in this shot it's here i'll give you three seconds to comment where it is one two just kidding i only gave you two seconds it's right here this right here is the desert temple it's a game i spy with this bad boy because it's buried in the mountain which is so cool and the way the generation has like formed it looks like it's part of the mountain unless you actually know what you're looking at which is really cool to me now let's say that's still not enough features for you you're still not impressed by this situation well you can go over here where you're gonna have your second small village and a jungle temple directly beside it like how close could this get a village this is just really cool so you don't gonna lie i actually really like this one you get frogs you get structures you get death you get frogs i'm just gonna narrate the most important part again you get frogs Now, coming in at scene number four, I wanted to change the temperature a little bit. I wanted to turn things a little down and make it more like my home in Canada that's 24 7 uh seven days a week 365 days a year covered in snow everybody knows canada doesn't have warm weather it's always snow like the snowy taiga biome and pretty much like this village this is essentially my home in real life right here we have this quaint little village off to the side i think i already spoiled the one side of it but we have this quaint little village off to the side where we're gonna have our pillager outpost that's dead close now let's say this village this village isn't big enough for you you need more you are a greedy minecraft player and you've already looted everything that you can possibly achieve in this seed in the in this village sorry and then we sorry geez, really showing my canadian in this seed uh we're gonna fly past the pillager outpost now the pillager outpost i realize is lame it doesn't have anything in it that's kind of a value, but this village over here is really freaking cool. Look at the light out. Oh, look at the freaking lookout. You have a house up on the hill where the rest of the village has essentially spawned in this row right here with no deviance other than this house because this road just decided to push up to this house for absolutely no reason. Now, again, not a crazy village, but you're gonna be able to come through, get some useful loot from these villages actually, and then you have this beautiful view for your spawn point. But let's say again, you're greedy. You're super greedy and you need more. You need more features, you need more villages maybe? Well, this seed can actually achieve that. If we just fly in this direction, just by a little bit, eventually we're gonna come across the next village of this seed, where again, it's kind of small, but you're greedy. You've already taken three. You don't need any more. Sit down and enjoy the seed. That's all I have to say about that. Now, coming in at Z number five, we've aimed for that, like, different biome. You know, we, we've aimed for that 
uh, rarity in biomes. So you're gonna spawn into this weird kind of peak area where you're just completely surrounded by icebergs. And I mean completely. To your left, icebergs. To your right, icebergs. But what makes this seed unique to me and why I like it and why I chose it, it doesn't have villages everywhere. It doesn't have like 19 pillager outposts or anything, but it has ice spikes. And those are such a rare biome to begin with. The fact that it's right off of your spawn point is actually kind of cool and then you have this weird kind of survival island feel where if you wanted to com like completely isolate yourself if you wanted to not exist in this world anymore this is where you're gonna go because you are pretty much completely isolated uh, and then the ice spikes biome just kind of continues and this isn't a small ice spikes biome this is actually kind of large considering what they actually are i think it's really really cool and then over here uh, somewhere i'm not gonna lie i have trouble finding these every time there's there is an igloo right there is that it right there there is an igloo inside of an ice spikes chunk oh that's even cooler it spawned inside now nope you don't get the basement but I don't know. I don't know. See, number five, I find really cool. And yes, you did see where I'm going to go to next. I just kind of want to show off more of the ice spikes. Fine. I'll show off this cave that I found that I absolutely love. Check it out. You have this really, really cool cave because this cave has like different layers, but it doesn't have different layers. There's like water layer. And then it looks like this should be two caves, but it's not because it's it's the same cave and then ice and everything. And then if we just jump over past the ice spikes a little bit, not too much, you know, you don't have to go crazy far away. We have a quaint little village that's nestled into the trees where you're going to be able to get some loot and hopefully survive your first night. So go ahead, explore the ice spikes. It's, it's icy, it's spiky, but it's rare. So we're here. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode here, the top five seed series. If you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. We hit 10,000 subscribers, and as I explained at the beginning of the video, that I got sick and had to take times off recording, so that video is in the works, trust me. It is very much in the works, and I'm quite excited for you guys to be able to see what I have planned for 10K, even though we kind of blew past it. But if you guys are new, consider hitting the subscribe button. If you guys think this video was worthy and you guys want to feed the algorithm monster, be sure to hit the uh the uh, like button and leave a comment because the algorithm monster will eat those up and poop out more views and then more people can see the seeds and you guys support me so if you could do that i'd appreciate it more you can ever believe and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace